I am today. I think I'm halfway, halfway there. That's a rickrack print. These are really old. That's the, the center the center panel. I'm so happy to see a polka dot. Hi. It's sunny now. Brilliant sunny. But watch in like Three minutes, it's going to be raining. It's just changing all the time. It's very exciting. Every time the sun comes out, I put my shoes on and think I might go outside. But then it's raining. <laughs> so that's good. I, I really am wanting to get this done so that I can get rid of this frame in, the, in this room and all that. Okay, well, J. Veolettina. I think you're in Italy, right? Wouldn't that be fabulous? Oh, hey, I could come visit if you are. Um, you asked, uh, did I ever knit or crochet? You know, I think it's interesting about knitting and crocheting. People seem to only do one. I haven't known many people that uh, uh, were equally good at both or even interested in doing both. Oh, I can't do that. Oh no, I can't do that. So, I can't crochet. But back in the day, they used to call me the knitwit. I knit all the time. I knit dresses for myself on those teeny little ot ot circuit. I knit coats. Of course, there's this, the socks, the argyle socks and everything. I knit coats, sweaters, sweaters for my girls all the time. I love knitting. But when the price of yarn started getting so expensive. I don't know, it would cost you like at least $300 to get enough yarn for a sweater. So, I, that was one reason I stopped doing it. I would like to do it again, but I don't think uh, I'll try crocheting. I don't do that. Incidentally, and you too, uh, Joanna Morris, um, there's this fabulous show uh, on Netflix called Yarn. It's amazing. You, you've got to see it. It's really wonderful. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of, it's about artists in different countries of the world that make art, uh, either knitting or crocheting. It's really wonderful. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, okay, now, Nevada G. She said, um, first of all, she had been like, listening to her car, I think it was on the car radio, is that right? Listening to this Cherney piece, I think it's Opus 233 or something like that. 
and she liked it very much. But she knows that basically uh, Tierney is not really considered while listening to composer. So, well, what where does that leave you? Well, you know, that that's tr that's true. He's not considered a major composer. He wrote volumes and volumes of exercises, and uh, and they were that mainly exercises. They were in the form of little pieces, but um, that's that's what he owed his claim to fame on, really. And um, so, but I did listen to that work as much as I uh, could. Then I got called away. Um, it wasn't that bad. No, I thought it was pleasing. And this brings us to the subject of listening uh, to music when you don't know what you're listening to. I mean, that's the best way. That's what I used to love the car radio. I don't have a car radio anymore. But you'd get in the car, you'd, you'd turn on the radio. I usually had it tuned on to the classical music station. And the whole thing was a test as how fast could I say uh, what it was, what, if I knew the piece, or at least who was the composer. Uh, and it was usually, you know, 20 seconds, something like that. Because they, they weren't all that adventuresome what they played on the radio. But this one day, I was listening to the radio, and it was the most beautiful thing. I was just spacing out on it. I just couldn't believe it was so great. And I maybe lasted for um, four minutes like that. And then I went, oh no, it's Sanson. I hated Sanson. So I, I knew I hated him and so, oh, yuck, oh. <laughs> But I'd been caught without my prejudices and my views, which I thought were so important. Uh, inadvertently, I got trapped and I heard it and it was beautiful. Okay, so now that brings us to credenza. You got a number, credenza one. I think when I see credenza, I think cadenza. <laughs> So, I'm not sure what credenza means. Anyway, uh, you asked, uh, it, have I ever considered making a book on Kawandi? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, now, I didn't answer all of that question about uh, Uh, the Cherney, that was from uh, Nevada G. I got a little mixed up here. That was from Nevada G, who also asked another question. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot this. I'm having trouble remembering it for a reason. She asked, about that old Pressing 70 project and um, I guess she's been with me a long time because that was when I was uh, 68. That's, that's a very long time ago. That's 20, can that be right? 20 years ago? Anyway, she saw the Pressing 70 project. She wanted to know how I was coming with it. I mean, uh, had that all worked out and did I get everything taken care of or uh, did I ever get everything all sorted away? For those of you that don't know, the Pressing 70 project, I began when I was approaching uh, 69. I thought I would make a, I, I realized I was getting close to 70. And I've got a theory about these these zero birthdays anyway. 
I think the, the, how I thought of 70, which was coming up, was pretty much um, based on my idea of that 70, 70 is not like 60, uh, it was just going on. Uh, 60 is much less meaningful than 70. Because 60, you're thinking still of 50. You're on your, you, the front end of 60, you know, you were just 50. So it's, it's relative to 50. 70 is no longer relative to 50. 70 is getting relative to D-Day, I thought. <laughs> At least it's, it's more concerned with 80, 90 and going on than it is to 50. It has nothing to do with 50. So I thought it's about time I should be doing something. So I made the 70, Pressing 70 project. Oh God. No, she's not talking about the Pressing 70 project. That's a, a oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, well, uh, see, this is what happens when you get older. Um, she's asking me about the Loose Ends project. They all, they all are a little relative. Well, I don't, I didn't think that date sounded right. Okay, well, the New Sounds Project was, isn't that, I think that's connected to the 70, pressing 70, I can hear the background music coming up now, this doddering mind trying to remember what those dates were. I think I better call it a day for this. No, I didn't get it all in order, that's clear. <laughs>